What does your crazy neighbor do to be labeled the crazy neighbor? She dug up my fancy flowers and replanted them in her own yard, 15 feet away. I felt this. My crazy neighbor took my new blueberry and raspberry bushes and stuck them in her yard. She replaced them with sticks she found. Had a neighbor who wouldn't let anyone use his driveway because he didn't want it to get dirty. Anyone including himself. He parked on the street outside. If he thought you were having a party he would drag a bunch of plastic bags full of god knows what to the end of his driveway so no one could turn around it. One time I came home and he was outside hosing it down in the rain. To his credit, I've never seen a cleaner driveway. Our neighbor would leaf blow during a windstorm. It wasn't autumn so there weren't any leaves on the ground. Just some other debris. Used to live in a little town of 300 people, where we had an elderly neighbor named Gladys. She would routinely look near our garbage can outside, and take the recyclable bottles and cans we would leave for her. After we cleaned out a fish tank, we put the gravel and fake plants in a bag, and left it on top of the garbage can because it was already full. About a week later, Gladys hollered at me while I was outside to come over as she wanted to show me something. She had taken that bag we had left and planted the fake plants along the side of her house. She said she wasn't real confident that they would make it, but so far they seemed to be thriving. I could only nod and compliment her on her green thumb. Better than me who just did the opposite, moved my daughter out of college and stuffed her plastic succulents into a box. Weeks later she asked where the plants were so she could water them. But they actually survived. Tough little things. He eats my flowers. In his defense, he told us that he has been doing it for years when he introduced himself after we bought the house. He also brought over frozen cookies in a plastic bag as a housewarming gift, but wasn't sure what was in them. We share a side yard, and as he was talking to us, I noticed his old brick house was actually roofing shingles, layered to look like brick. It started to register that he may be a little out there. He's a great neighbor, just an older, eccentric stoner who keeps to himself and eats my flowers. No shame. Comes over to my yard and eats my lilies raw or brings scissors and clips the heads to boil and make jam. It's crazy to me, but we have embraced it. I planted a couple raspberry, blackberry and blueberry bushes three years ago when we first moved in on the side yard we share as well as a few knockout rose bushes. I told him to help himself to berries slash roses in a time, especially before the birds do. The bushes have all gone insane and the entire side of my house is now a yearly buffet for my neighbor. Having a decent relationship with a crazy guy I share a property line with is worth some dead laded flowers. Your neighbor might be part goat. She has a penchant for going around sticking nails in people's tires at night. This has happened dozens of times to nearly everyone on the street. Though she slowed down since more people started installing video cams and motion sensor lights in their driveways. Years ago we had a guy in our neighborhood like this. He stopped hitting our house when my crazy ass mother came flying out the house around 3am with her baseball bat. My neighbor sits in his yard, hides behind his plants and meows at people who pass by. He is not dangerous at all but he is not right in the head either. His caretakers are his parents and they seem to be very nice people. His dad once told me he just likes to be a cat and left it at that. I didn't ask any more questions. I would also like to be a cat, so I see no issue with this. We had one a while back that had a meth lab in the home. Crazy fights, yelling at all hours of the night. Dude would wander around the hood tweaked out crazy, and once he threw a Molotov cocktail out of the second floor window at another dude, who was smashing up his car, screaming, I'll peeping kill you, moth of peeper. Those were interesting times. So. He tried to burn his own car to protect it? Pulled us over pretending to be a police officer, saying that we had somehow broken the law whilst pulling out of our driveway, and that she was going to call it in. She isn't a cop lol. Undefined. Pretty sure that's a crime. Well, 
I used to have a neighbor who was legitimately mentally ill. Although I don't know his actual diagnosis. His truck wouldn't start one day dead battery, and he told everyone on the street that another neighbor was stealing the electricity. He knew this because of the way this guy parked his vehicle, obviously it was sucking electricity from the ground for his battery, which drained the car batteries near him. Many times he would run down the street and warn everyone to hide their valuables because Japan was invading the country. He wasn't on drugs. But he did take medication for his mental illness and everyone on our street could tell when he stopped taking it. Whenever he would start saying completely irrational things, we would remind him to take his medication. And he would thank us and go home. Presumably to take it. He lived alone. And he was getting older. So I think he had a hard time remembering to take it. There were many, many more incidents. I'm glad the neighbors at least cared enough to remind him to take it. Took my parents to court because he lost in our ho chairman election. Some people just have too much free time. Undefined. I used to live in a hoa. One of the members on the board lived across the street from my neighbor and I. He sent a letter to us saying that we all have to mow the lawn on the same day, at the same cut height, and in the same pattern, to create uniformity in the neighborhood. My neighbor and I intentionally cut on different days and in opposite patterns just to annoy the guy. At my last place I had a neighbor that would remo my lawn if my lines weren't straight enough or if I missed a spot. Never found out who it was, but that was an incredibly fun summer. Only happened that year too. Next door lady standing on her driveway yelling at me because acorns have fallen from a large oak tree on my property onto said driveway, demanding that I cause the tree to cease and desist from this intentional criminal activity. Fun fact from a law student. Trees do not in fact have the legal capacity required for intent. He jumped in front of my car while I was driving down the road to yell at me for going through his trash at night told him it was probably raccoons. He refuses to believe it to this day. This is my favorite one. Instead of moving his trash or getting locking lids, he stalks your car at night to throw his body in front of it to protest your suspected raccoon-like activities. All the while, the trash pandas are in the background, having a peeping field day with his trash. My sister's neighbor reported my sister to the police because her kids were playing in my sister's garden. Not for the usual reasons. Too much noise etc. Nope. Because a volcano in Italy had erupted and the radiation would hurt them. My sister lives in the U. K. Mayo. I would have loved to see the police's face when they heard the reason. I cared for an elderly woman for many years. She lived to the age of 93 in a crime, ridden in a city neighborhood, by being as tough and nasty as any criminal living nearby. Her oddest actions involved her incorrect belief that she owned the road in front of her house. She didn't even own a car, but she insisted that nobody park there. She would confront them if they parked in front of her house. If they did it again, she slashed their tires in the middle of the night. Over and over for years. She was never caught. But everybody knew it was her. She only stopped when she lost the physical strength to slash a tire in her mid-80s. Then she started using spray paint on the cars. He don't park in front of my house no more. Was all the justification she needed to damage her neighbor's cars. My friends used to live in a gentrifying neighborhood near the beach in my city. They had a regular apartment. But someone bought the building in front of them beach adjacent. Knocked it down and put up a few luxury homes. This crazy woman bought one. She had a two-car garage, and a driveway, and best we could tell, she had one car. But no one was allowed to park on the street in front of her house, which was clearly marked as a public street, and where people had been parking, since forever to go to the beach, or because their building didn't have parking. We could see the street from their apartment. She went out, and keyed any cars parked there. It took a while to figure out it was her, but eventually people saw her doing it. All the neighbors warned their friends not to park there, and people started putting up cameras to get evidence of it. Some dude with a piece of speep ugliest truck started parking directly in front of her house every day just to f peep with her. 
because he didn't care if she scratched it up. So she slashed his tires. It got to the point where every time she opened her door to walk outside, neighbors would cuss her out through their windows. One night she went out in the middle of the night and painted the entire curb on that street red. Someone got it on video. Several neighbors called the city. I think she got a talking to and a fine. And she had several insurance claims pending against her from damage to cars. And she finally stopped. Everyone still hates her though. Even new neighbors. Who are told the story of her from older residents. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video.